Hi Skills for People. This is Dana and Danielle coming to you with a TPN video. TPN. We miss you so much. So much, so much missing. Um, but we're going to try to deliver this and give you some energy and show you what TPN is all about. Take it away, Dana. Okay. So we have all of the things that we need to do our checks and administer TPN to our patients safely. So we have our doctor's order. We have our adult parental nutrition requisition, which is the most important thing. And then we actually have our TPN. We also need to have our microbore, so our 1.2 micron filter um, solution set that we have here. We have to have a flush because as you will see later, this can only be administered through a central line. So we need a flush for our central line, 10 cc's or greater, and some alcohol swabs. So I'm gonna be walking through the steps and Dana is gonna be showing them. This also requires a second nurse. We consider this like a high alert medication. Um, it depends on the hospital you're in, but it should be, it's considered like a medication. So we have to be careful, we can really mess things up um, if we give it without uh, having a two nurse check, kind of like blood. Think of it as like a blood or high alert. So Dana is gonna always start by washing her hands or doing hand hygiene. So that's the first check there, or the first step. So my COVID hand see, bleeding <laughs> knuckles from multiple hand washings. Which is good, that's great. <laughs> and the first thing, so she's making sure she has an order. Okay, so I have my physician's order here for Fred Fredrickson. MRN 0990127 to initiate TPN adult infusion. The time is now, and we're not going to focus too much on that because the uh, components are more importantly labeled out um, and outlined here and should match our bag. So I know that I have my correct patient and that I do have the order to initiate TPN. So from here, I can put that one away. Yeah, so what we have right now would be more your lights. Um, but if you had a lipid kind of anything with lipids or fats, it would be more of like a milky white look. And sometimes you'll have a combination, which will actually have two bags. Um, and so that will have that kind of like yellowish clear with a very sort of milky solution. So right now we have what looks very clear. Okay, so now we're going to check our components. So we, this is the, uh, like I said, the requisition that the physician would fill out. And this is gonna tell us exactly what needs to be in this bag, particularly like a recipe, just like when we're looking at our recipes at our PDM. So this is what the doctor would fill out and send to pharmacy in order to make this. Now it's our job as nurses to ensure that the tag on the TPN matches all the components that are on the requisition perfectly. So it starts with the name. So we're going to check our name, Fred Fredrickson. And on your TPN label, I'm trying to be careful because I did spill this once already because it's lab. So Fred Fredrickson right up here. Okay. So now the order volume is 2000 and we have on here the order for 2000. Okay. And now we're going to go through, um, all of the components. So we're going to start with our macronutrients. Amino acids, 100 grams. Amino acids, 100 grams. Dextrose, 200 grams. Dextrose, 200 grams. Lipids, 50 grams. Lipids, 50 grams. So again, if the 50 grams of lipids were ideally in this, you may see that the color is slightly more milky. Um, electrolytes, sodium is 120 and the ordered is 120. Potassium of 60, potassium 60 millimoles, calcium 10 millimoles, 10 millimoles of calcium, magnesium 10 millimoles, phosphate of 15 millimoles, correct. Acetate, we don't have any. Uh, multiple vitamins is 10 mLs, so we actually come down here to see multiple vitamins, which is 10 mLs there. No vitamin K. So under here, he's added. So there is the traditional things that can be ticked off or not. And then there's an option for them to add things. So here the doctor's added chloride. So then we come back up here and we can see that the chloride of 158 millimoles has been added as well. Okay. Um, TPN calories, okay, so it's 1580 kilocalories, which is right up here. So the, the calculation, that's how much they're getting. And then down here is the total, 
total millimoles per liter of our components. So the physician has said that the total of these components should add up to 1117.38 millimoles per liter. So now we come over to our bag and we find that the osmolality concentration is indeed 1117.38 per liter. Okay, so we're all set. We've got our physician signature. Um, we're happy with everything that's on here. And now we have um, an order to infuse it at 83.3 mLs per hour over 24 hours. So this solution is good for 24 hours. If it's not all infused within 24 hours, we need to take it down and get a new bag. You'll notice that it says hypertonic, not for peripheral use. And it says central line only. This is a major mistake if you run it peripherally. So please do not. Make sure they have a central line. Okay, so once you've done your checks and you know that you have all the correct components, you would get your second nurse to come in and do whatever your policy site says that that second nurse check looks like. So it may be an independent nurse check, the same way we do for an high alert medication like our continuous infusions, or it may be a second nurse check the way we do our blood, where we just do it at the bedside together. So as sometimes like we say to you, always go with your site policy. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So we're gonna make our way over to the bedside. All right, as usual, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm not gonna do it because I'm cracked and bleeding. So um, we're gonna wash my hands. Hello, Fred Fredrickson. I'm Dana, I'm your nurse today. Um, I've got an order from the doctor for TPN or total nutrition that will go through your central line. I would give some education on what that is and why he's getting it, okay, and then offer him the opportunity to ask any questions. I know that I don't have any, he doesn't have any allergies, and um, so we would be able to go from there and start with checking our wristband. So, I've got all of my stuff, I've got my TPN bag, and I've got my order and my requisition and my Fred Fredrickson wristband. And I would check the MRN, so I'd type Fred Fredrickson, MRN 0990127, 0990127. I would also get him to state his birth date um, as well for me for my second patient identifier. All right. And, ooh, from here, I would open up my tubing. Hopefully. And tubing gets changed every 24 hours. So bacteria will live in that tubing because there's dextrose there. So we want to make sure we change our tubing every every day. Usually 1800 is when they run TPN. So at 1800, when you hang a new bag, you change your tubing. Okay, so once you've got your tubing out, what you'll notice is a couple of things. One, it's got no ports. Okay, so it's portless tubing. And here is that 1.2 micron filter. Once you spike the bag on your TPN, it is very important that you keep the filter upright while you're priming your tubing. So don't have it go horizontally or inverted or any way. And I'll show you what that looks like. Now, got my got my tubing ready to go. I'm going to spike my bag, so I'm going to take off the cap, maintain sterility on the end. Again, I would be doing this typically with it hanging on the pump. But in this case, I can't. So this is a bit stiff. So much like when we're spiking blood, it can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so my clamp is closed. I'm going to take the bag. <clears throat> Danielle's going to get me a garbage can. <laughs> Thank you. So again, like any medication, we don't want to waste any. So I'm gonna clamp this so that when I prime it, I don't lose it any. Okay, so we would get our drip chamber, two thirds to half, so I'm happy. Make sure we have no air bubbles. Come through my lines. It's up. There we go. So um, I've got my, it's all primed. I've got it to the end. Um, I've taken it off. 
to make sure that I've got my bleb and I do, keeping it sterile. Okay, so now I'm going to clamp this one. I'm gonna run my line here. Open this roller clamp. Okay, so up here we have our infusion rate that will match on our requisition. So down here, two liters, 83.3 mLs over 24 hours. And we can pair that here, two liters or 2,000 milliliters. 83.3 mLs per hour over 24 hours. So we're going to go ahead and set our pump. 83.3 per hour. Give it a volume of 2,000. Now I'm going to label my line. So I'm going to label the line with TPN. So total parental nutrition, TPN, select. So now we've got our correct rate and volume and we've got our line labeled. We can confirm. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to open my flesh. Make sure that we prime it at the end. Okay. Probably clean my hands again one more time. I'm going to put on some gloves because I am going into the central line. not a sterile procedure, but it is a clean technique, so we want to keep it clean. Okay, hi Frederick, I'm all set up here. Any further questions about your TPN before I hook it up? No? Sounds good. So here I have a triple port. Um, we're going to just use one, so we're going to do like we always do. To use a couple of these on the central line. I'm going to scrub this for 30 seconds, right? Let dry for 15. We have to make sure that our line is unclamped, the one that we're going to use. Okay, maintaining our sterile end. We're going to attach our flush. We're going to draw back to ensure we've got blood return, which we do, and then we can flush it with a push pause and we would push pause until all 10 cc's were in, okay? I'm not gonna do that for lab purposes. I left it hooked up, keep it clean and sterile. I'm gonna take off the end of my TPN, and I'm going to switch it out. So that's nice and tight. Check that my clamps are all open. My filter is primed up right. My settings are correct, and I can hit start. As always, I'm going to watch and make sure that it is, in fact, dripping. You can see some air bubbles coming up in there, but in reality, I would have made sure that there was no bubbles inside. And it is dripping. So I would make my patient comfy again. Get rid of all of my garbage. Make sure his call bell is in reach. Ask him if he has any further questions. And that would be TPM.